Thank you, everybody. Uh, before I start, I just want to send my prayers out and my thoughts to, to Daniel Franco and his family. Uh, you know, it really you know, broke my heart when I heard this. Uh, you know, on top of that, you know, he's, he's a staple mate of mine. He's fought on several of my undercards. And, you know, it's the worst situation, you know, that you can find. The, this is the worst situation a fighter could, could find himself in. So I just want to let his family know I'm praying for him. Um, I would love to speak to him at some point in time, and, and I'm dedicating this victory to him and his family uh, because he's a brother in the sport, and uh, again, it's, a, it's a tough situation. But he's playing, and I believe he's going to pull through. Um, I'm excited to be here. Um, I, I'm, I'm the same guy I was last time. The guy I was five fights before, two years before. Like We don't have a lot of highs and lows in this camp. You know, We've been grinding from the beginning. Whether you get just do or not, whether you get attention or not, we got a blue collar mentality. We put our head down. We don't take no mess, but you know we fight to, to to stay humble, you know, because we understand where our strength comes from, and if that strength is removed, we got problems. Um, so it's no different in this fight. I'm no higher than I was last time emotionally. I'm no lower. I didn't train no harder. There was no major overhaul. We're gonna make adjustments. We know him and his side are gonna make adjustments. And at the end of the day, man, I'm not gonna be distracted. By the talk, I'm not going to be distracted by the ploys. I got a couple couple missions in mind when I came to Las Vegas. To glorify God with my performance and the way I act outside that ring. To defend my belts, the belts that I won back in November. And to get home and kiss my wife and kids. That's it. Won't be distracted. I'm locked in on what I got to do. I hope everybody tunes in to pay-per-view. And those that are reading this, if, you, if you're here, come to the fight. It's going to be a tremendous fight. I'm expecting his best. But you're going to see a different Andre Ward. I'm going to just leave it at that. You're going to you're gonna, you're gonna see another guy in there Saturday night. And that's my favorite time, the show and tell time. All the talking is good. It's good for the fans. It's good to build it up. It's all good. But anybody that, that, that knows me knows I'm about the action. I'm about getting it done. And I don't have to announce when I'm on my way. I just like to show up and get it done. So I want to end it with just saying, man, I'm thankful, man, to, to, to be in this position. You know, I've been in this position for over a decade. I'm going on 13 years in December. And I'm blessed, man, to be, to be able to do what I've been doing at the highest level for as long as I have. A lot of fighters don't always last 8, 10, 15 years. So I'm thankful, man, and I'm blessed. I'm excited to see some of these young fighters on this undercard. I'm excited, man. There's a lot of guys that I know, grew up watching. I mean, guys that I've watched develop as, as my career was developing. This is y'all time to shine, man. This is this is your moment. So do what you got to do. Lock in, get focused. And when the lights turn on, man, ain't time to shrink back. It's time to shine. And my boy Rigandale, man, I'm always happy to be on the car with him, man. That's, that's a master. Man. That's a master. Uh, nothing more respect to Rigandale. Uh, and the fact that they don't understand you, my brother, that's not your fault. The fact that you don't get the respect you deserve, 